Apex 2.0, are the Steelers really good, or is Buffalo just playing bad? I think that the Steelers' defense is really good. I, I, I truly believe that. I think that, that that defense is going to be top five, top three, top whatever this season. I'm not sold yet on the Steelers' offense. I didn't think Big Ben played that great. The ground game really wasn't a big factor, especially if you take the Chase Claypool play. So defense, yes. Offense, I'm not sure. The Bills did not play well. That is a red flag for them moving forward. Pin, if Aaron Rodgers requests a uh, trade, what team would best fit for him? I also threw in hashtag Cowboys, to be clear, not Dallas. Um, look, Rodgers is not getting traded. This season, 0% chance. Next year... Let's see what happens with your usual suspects. How does Denver fare this year? How do, how do the Raiders fare this year? Those teams and, hell, maybe a Pittsburgh super dark horse? All teams to keep an eye out for. Omar Shelton, will the Steelers win the AFC North and get the bye? Um, I think that's asking for just a little bit too much, to be honest. Um, I have a difficult time seeing how they can win the AFC North, even over the Ravens and Browns, it's a tough division, and beat those teams frequently enough to also get the bye. I still think that the Chiefs, if not the Ravens, I'm sorry, Steelers fans, are the AFC North favorites. That defense, though, make no mistake, is going to keep them in almost every single game this year. Elise Pin, rate your top five defensive teams this season. I mean, we just mentioned Pittsburgh. They are for sure in there. I still think long term the Bucks are also going to be in that conversation as well. I think a lot of a lot of your usual contenders, the the Ravens, always want to have a great defense. I still like Washington, and I think the Saints are in there too. They had, they had a good defense last year, formed again this time around. Um, I like Washington Cardinals. I don't know if they keep it out, but maybe it's a sleeper fit there, is what my producer Marshall's telling me in my ear. Twelve L. Steelers top defense after week one versus a very good Bills offense. I think you have to give it to the Saints because they shut down the Packers who have a better offense than the Bills, but I, the Steelers are right there. Whether they're one, two, or three, whatever, I think the Steelers are definitely in that conversation. Corned King. Corned Beef King, excuse me. Who are the Chiefs' biggest competition in the AFC? I mean, I really thought the Browns outplayed them for most of that game, so I'm going to throw the Browns out there. The way the Pittsburgh Steelers played this past week up against Buffalo, despite Buffalo's struggles, I'm still going to throw them out there. And then, I mean, I would have said the Tennessee Titans, but, man, they really, really struggled. So I'd say the Pittsburgh Steelers and then probably the Cleveland Browns. That's, that's who I think is going to be the biggest competition for them. All right, this next one's from Ali Zay Pin. The Raiders versus the Steelers. The Steelers win by 14. I don't think that this is a question. I think that you're just trying to tell me. I will easily take that bet. Now, I did originally take Pittsburgh to beat the Raiders 24-23. However, I was impressed by the way the Raiders played. I was very impressed by the way the Steelers played. I just don't think the Steelers are going to beat anybody this year, really, by more than 14. That offense doesn't really do too much for me. Everyday Jam, who will have the most interceptions this season? If you're just talking about all around, maybe like the cornerback that's going to have the most picks, I feel like I almost got to go Xavier Howard because that guy, he gets a lot of interceptions when he's healthy. If it's not him, maybe Jalen Ramsey I'll throw out there or maybe J.C. Jackson. In terms of the team that has the most picks, I'll probably go ahead and say... I feel like I just got to say the Rams. To me, like they have just one of the best complete defenses out there. But Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh could also be a good one. All right, we got Kyle Dowdery. Do you think that the Steelers are contenders still after the Bills game, considering we have the hardest schedule this year? Do I think that the Steelers are contenders still after the Bills game? I mean, they, they won that game. If they would have lost, this question might be a little bit different. But, yes, absolutely, the Steelers are 100% contenders. If you can beat the Bills the way that they beat the Bills, Absolutely. The issue is, what does Ben Roethlisberger look like at the end of the season? Because he was a good quarterback at the beginning of last year. Started the fall party because he got up there in age and the arm got weaker. I'm not too worried about the Steelers now. It's how they look at the end of the season. The Steelers' offense worries me, but the defense makes me feel good about this team. I mean, let's not let's not get it twisted. The Steelers have, I'll say, a top three defense right now overall. And T.J. Watt, he looks as good as ever. The offense scares me too, simply because the offensive line I still think is a little bit shaky. They lost some key 
key pieces this offseason. Ben Roethlisberger, the arm strength, simply not there. They have a good receiving group. I still like Najee Harris, even though he didn't have the biggest game. But Buffalo's defense, I also thought, stepped up a lot better. But I'm curious to see what the Steelers do this week going up against the Las Vegas Raiders. Gregory, appreciate the comment. If you want to watch my watch party in the Raiders report, go check it out. Though, it seems like you're going to be rooting against the team I'm going to be rooting for. Now, if I didn't answer your question, y'all, you can always hit me up on Instagram, at MitchellRen365. I promise you when I text, my words won't sound as bad as what my voice does right now. But we do a lot of videos here at Chat Sports. I always want to know what you guys are thinking. So please, if I missed your question during our live NFL mailbag, hit me up on IG at MitchellRens365.